Kenya Kwanzaa Press Conference. As uh, you can see, we have uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa Fraternity here this morning. Uh, yesterday, we had a 17 hour marathon meeting of the Kenya Kwanzaa family. We had the opportunity to interrogate many issues that are of concern and that are in the frame and the context of what we have always said, that Kenya Kwanzaa is about the people and the people issues, and at the heart of the people issues Kenya Kwanzaa wants to pursue is the economy of our country. As you are aware, we have um, in the last uh, several weeks admitted new members into the Kenya Kwanzaa family. And they have come with new um, insights and inputs. And as a result, we spent considerable time yesterday harmonizing the various positions um, that are in our political formation and synergizing it and consolidating our position around a joint manifesto, program, and plan. And therefore, yesterday, we managed to bring on board our new entrants, largely the people from the Democratic Party, and their party leader is here, uh, Justin Muturi, uh, Maendeleo Chapter Party, and their party leader is here, uh, my good friend Alfred Mutua, uh, to the Tujibebe party, and the party leader here uh, is here, my good friend uh, William Kabogo Vitao, and uh, the party leader of Pamoja Africa Alliance, PA, my good friend Amazon Jeffa Kingi is here, and of course, the one and only Moses Kuria of uh, Chama Chakazi. So, oh sorry, and uh, my friend of uh, almost 30 years, Mwangi Kiunjuri, the party leader of uh, the Service Party of Kenya, and also the Farmers Party by our good brother, Mr. Irungu. So yesterday we have an intensive meeting that lasted 17 hours. And as I have said, we, um, amongst the issues that we prosecuted were the integration and the orientation of the new partners that have joined the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance and the formalization of their participation in coalition activities that will take place over the next three months. We also agreed on how to share responsibilities, provided, provide leadership on how to campaign, pro, um, the campaign program, 
and how we are going to coordinate uh, all those activities. We also um, agreed on how to harmonize our agenda on the different policy positions of the Alliance constituents parties to correspond to the economic blueprint that is in the center of the Kenya Kwanzaa uh, agenda. Um, we have um, therefore incorporated the membership of the new parties into our economic team. We have an economic team led by Professor David Ndi. We originally had membership uh, come on board from uh, ANC and Fort Kenya and all the other parties that came uh, subsequently. And now we have brought on board, expanded it so that it now includes membership from the other constituent parties. And as we said, that at the heart of the conversation that we want to have in the nation as we go to this election is the economy. We have tasked the team that now includes members from the other parties to work on our county economic priority programs. I've given them 45 days to uh, make sure that we have done all the county economic charters because Kenya Kwanzaa intends to sign an economic charter with every county of the Republic of Kenya on their priorities so that when we take over government day one, we will hit the ground running. And therefore, we have tasked the economic team to quickly um, run us through a program that will take us to the remaining counties. A lot of those uh, consultations have been done. I am sure you are aware our last post was in Transoya uh, after we completed uh, um, uh, Busia and Bungoma. We already have done um, Nyeri, we have done Meru, and we have scheduled to do the remaining counties uh, within the next 45 days so that people, Kenyans, can speak to the issues they want their next government to deal with. We promised the country that this is going to be bottom up, and that is what this economic fora in every county is all about. It's going to inform the Kenya Kwanzaa manifesto and economic blueprint. Among some of the issues we have asked the team to quickly uh, address uh, is to prepare a framework for the setting up and implementation of the Kenya Kwanzaa 50 billion yearly Hustler Fund to facilitate access to affordable credit to the 10 million micro and small enterprises, uh, micro and uh, small enterprise uh, people, including, as we've always said, the Mamambogas, Border Borders, and all the micro uh, entrepreneurs who today access credit at between 500 and 3,000 percent per year when the rest of us access credit at 14, 15 percent. We have also asked our team to provide mechanisms for, to eliminate and to bring into force a non-exploitative government-led mobile and digital loan facility as alternative to um, source of low interest credit to grant reprieve to the 15 million Kenyans who today 
are blacklisted in the CRB. They will also conceptualize the acceleration of the universal health coverage, provide a formula for equitable contribution as a percentage of one's income, and to work on implementation metrics that ensure that by December this year, every citizen will have an insurance cover under the Universal Health Insurance Plan. We have also tasked the economic team to conclude the economic transformation plan already discussed and draft necessary administrative and legislative interventions on farmers' support for subsidized farm inputs, including fertilizer, um, feed, seeds, uh, I'm talking about animal feed and seeds, and a national government-aided agricultural mechanization plan and irrigation program to enhance agricultural output. We've also tasked the economic team to prepare legislative and administrative interventions to provide for a mechanism for guaranteed minimum returns for our farmers in coffee, tea, sugar cane, maize, coconut milk, uh, cotton, wheat, rice, and cashew nut, among other industries. We have also tasked our economic team um, to also work on a rapid program on how we will deal with stalled projects, ongoing uh, projects, and also to develop a metrics for uh, new projects in various parts of our country. We have um, also asked and tasked our economic team to work out a framework for equitable resource allocation on a win-win arrangement that will ensure that we capture the allocation of resources based on population amongst other considerations and address the current situation. And in that formula, we have done it before. It will be a win-win formula where no county will lose its budgetary allocation because we believe that nobody should lose for another to gain. We can always uh, structure a win-win arrangement. And um, we will be able to do this, and let me repeat it again, we will be able to do, to implement this equitable uh, resource allocation without necessarily spending 20, 30 billion shillings to change the constitution. We have innovative and creative ways of ensuring that this can be done within the existing parameters of the law. In any case, the one man, one shilling proposal was actually a Hustler Nation proposal. And it is going to be dovetailed in our bottom-up economic uh, program that will ensure that we build our economy starting with the majority who are disadvantaged. We have also agreed on the restructuring of our tax system. And we expect our economic team to come up with proposals for interrogation by our executive teams so that we can work on administrative and legislative measures to achieve two fundamental objectives, accelerate effective, efficient, uh, and taxpayer-friendly collection of taxes to at least double our revenue collection while eliminating tax waivers for politically correct enterprises. We are very clear that the same way 
between 2002 and 2012, we were able to increase our tax reven revenues fivefold. It is possible for us working smart in a friendly environment, we can double our taxes and ensure that we have the resources to retire our debt and to fund our development. The team will also provide a detailed framework on the current status of transport operations, including the SGR, and recommend measures that will reinstate economic activity in the port of Mombasa, Lamu, and auxiliary facilities for the purposes of economic revival of the coast region that has been hurt substantially by the interventions that were carried out without public participation of the people that are now affected by these operations. This team will, only, will also work on the National Land Compensation Fund to facilitate the acquisition of land from absentee landlords and other underutilized but available lands to facilitate the settlement of landless Kenyans in the coast and other parts of our country where the problem persists. And to facilitate and fast track this process, parties that have recently joined the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance have recommended the following people to work with our existing economic team, as I have said, led by Professor David D. The Democratic Party have suggested the name of Justice Kariuki, who will join that team. The Service Party, under my brother Mwangi Kinjuri, have suggested Judy Muhia to, to join that team. Maendeleo Chap Chap Party have suggested Morris Muzama to join that team. To Jibebe Wa Kenya Party has suggested Ruth Muthoni Mwadi to join that team. And Pamoja African Alliance have suggested uh, Edward Mwashinga to join the team. And Chama Chakazi have suggested Dr. Joyce Nyam Nyamwea to join our economic team. I am very proud that uh, these men and women will bring a lot of value to our already existing economic team as we centralize the place of the economy in our approach to this election and to the transformation of our nation. We also um, spend many hours uh, discussing how we are going to win this election in round one. We, ag we have agreed on the coordination of the Kenya campaign activities around the country, and we've also agreed on modalities of how our candidate will engage in campaign for our candidates without necessarily being bogged down with unhealthy competition. As Kenya Kwanzaa, we are a coalition of Democrats, we are a coalition of the willing, and we are a coalition of the free. All parties will be allowed to field their candidates. We will, however, as Kenya Kwanzaa, empower our candidates in every ward, in every constituency, and in every county with scientific information on the performance of each and every candidate. And we will also provide a framework to encourage local agreements amongst the different parties in different electoral areas to negotiate and agree on the best approach to our alliance winning a majority of seats in every level. We will also provide a template on how our candidates will coordinate in every county and in every constituency. And towards this end, 
we have um, agreed on the following to provide leadership of our teams in the various regions. Governor Salim Vuria, Governor Amazon Kingi, former Governor Issa Timami, and Mama Lydia Haika to take charge of our coast region activities and provide leadership as they involve all the candidates and all the players from all the parties in making sure that our campaign activities are seamless, they are focused, and they are fruitful. We have also agreed that uh, Senator Johnson Mudama, Governor Alfred Mutua, Benina Malonza, Adelina Mwau, and Jonathan Mueke will take charge of our southeastern region activities, again to consolidate our position and to provide overall leadership and ensure that our candidates um, work with synergy. We've also agreed that uh, our speaker, Justin Muturi, Mithika Linturi, uh, Beatrice uh, Nkatha, will also involve other leaders in the Mount Kenya East region in uh, providing the necessary leadership in that region. Honorable Alice Wahome, Governor Waiguru, Mwangi uh, Kiunjuri, the party leader of TSP, Governor William Kabogo, um, Kimani Shungwa, and Governor Mutahi Kahiga, together with Patrick Mariro and Faith Ketau, will provide uh, the overall leadership as they work with all the candidates and all uh, our parties in the Central Kenya region. And in Rift Valley, our activities will be coordinated by Susan Kehika, uh, Charles Keter, our former CS, Governor Joseph Nanok, Governor Moses Lenonkulal, Paris Tobiko, and Governor Tunai, together with uh, Senator Murkomen and Margaret Wanjala and Immaculate Shamala, will do the same in our Rift Valley region. In Nyanza, we will have Governor Obado, Okoth Obado, Charles Nyachai, Eliud Owalo, Silvanas Osoro, and Vincent Kemosi uh, to provide leadership in that, uh, in that region. And in Western region, uh, Speaker Kenneth Lusaka, Beatrice Adagala, Benjamin Washali, Ababu Namwamba, and Emmanuel Osore will also provide um, overall uh, political leadership, working with all the political parties in the Kenya Kwanzaa fraternity uh, in, in Western Kenya region. And in Northeastern, uh, Honorable Aden Duale and Ahmed Kolosh, amongst uh, other leaders from uh, Mandera, will also participate in providing overall leadership in that region. And finally, in the Upper Eastern region, Colonel uh, Russell, Dito, Dido Ali, uh, Hassan Tene, and Mama Wario will provide leadership in that, in, that, in that region. Again, this is overall leadership that all political parties, all candidates, will form part of the campaign structure as we go towards this election. And finally, we had a candid, extensive, robust discussion on the subject of my running mate, who will be the running mate of the Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition. You are aware uh, that this process is underway and there is a requirement by the IEBC that names of running mates be submitted by Monday. Many highly qualified uh, 
uh, Kenyans uh, were considered in this uh, engagement. And after lengthy, exhaustive consultations uh, and deliberations, and having reflected on the task ahead for the Kenya Kwanzaa family, that engagement was not only a UDA engagement, it was also a Kenya Kwanzaa engagement. Uh, that is why all the political leaders from our coalition are here. I um, want to thank the many Kenyans, the good leaders who've shown us goodwill. They've given us advice. They've sent us messages. They've sent us WhatsApp messages. They have called us on phone. Many I know have prayed about this matter. And um, many leaders here have made their input. I want to single out the great men and women who were considered uh, in the exercise that has gone on around the running mate issue. And I want to uh, single out very knowledgeable, astute, Samson Ndindi Nyoro, who is right here, who the people of Kenya have a lot of liking for because he's forthright, he's intelligent, and he's passionate about the leadership of our country. I want to tell my young brother Ndindi Nyoro you have a future ahead of you, and we will work with you. I also want to thank my dear sister, Alice Mudoni Wahome, who was a, a formidable candidate. Thank you very much, my dear. Uh, and who uh, made it uh, to the shortlist, just like uh, Ndindi Nyoro. I, I want to say that Alice Wahome is a self-made woman. She has built her stature. She is a two-term member of parliament. She has a track record in the um, NGO fraternity. Uh, and, and I want to say that she is among the formidable women leaders we have in Kenya Kwanzaa. Again, she made it to the shortlist. Congratulations, Madam. The future is wide open. Uh, I also want uh, uh, to single out my good brother, the Speaker of the National Assembly, Justin Bidan Mutul, who many Kenyans pushed his candidature to the table because of his experience, his stature, and the fact that he has ably guided our National Assembly for now 10 years. Uh, and he brings a lot of valuable support, experience, and insights into our team. Again my brother Justin Maturi Asante Sana. Let me also um, appreciate my sister, the one and only, uh, Mumbi Waiguru Anna, who um, missed it by a whisker, I must say. And uh, she came with exceptional credentials as a woman leader with a track record and with experience in the economic sphere. The current governor of uh, Kirinyaga, 
who also made it uh, to the shortlist. Again, Governor Ann Waiguru, I want to tell you from where I sit, the future belongs to you. You are it's wide open. Um, of course, I won't, before I come to our candidates, I want to very sincerely thank my lawyer, my friend, Professor Abraham Kedure Indiki. who came very far and became the runner-up in this contest. Again, a forthright Kenyan, a Kenyan of great standing, a lawyer par excellence, our former Deputy Speaker of the Senate, and the man who defeated that fellow called Ocampo. Um, the current senator of the Rakanidhi County, who is not here with us now, but who brought a lot of experience, a lot of passion, and a lot of commitment to this contest. And finally, in the end, the consensus pointed out to an individual who scored excellent points on every evaluative parameter, an astute debater prodigious persuasive ability, a fantastic grassroots mobilizer, a disciplined and tireless political operative. A successful elected politician and business person, a principled politician of tremendous resilience and resolve, a fearless fighter for the right cause and an indefatigable champion of the betrayed, persecuted, downtrodden, the despised, and the ignored. A living example of a true hustler who rose from the hardships of the aftermath of our freedom struggle to the pinnacle of professional business and political success. We are nominating a running mate, and I have every intention on my first day in office to sign an executive order in accordance with Article 21E of the Kenyan Constitution. Uh, uh, Article 21E of, sorry, of the Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition Agreement that will provide this Kenyan an expanded role together with what the Constitution gives to the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. And having myself occupied that office for the last close to 10 years, I believe that that office can serve the people of Kenya better. We can get more output from the office of the deputy president if it is not cannibalized or vandalized. And I have every intention on my first day in office to sign an executive order that will give clear responsibilities to the deputy president. The deputy president under the Kenya Kwanzaa arrangement will chair cabinet committees. The Deputy President will oversee the implementation of cabinet decisions. The Deputy President will coordinate intergovernmental relations between the national government 
and the county government, a function I currently undertake. But I will formalize it in the executive order. Coordinate the learning, our deputy president will coordinate the learning and supervising, not the planning, sorry, and the supervision of the implementation of development projects funded by development partners and programs under that arrangement. The Deputy President under the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance will coordinate constitutional commissions and independent officers in matters that require that intervention or intervention of national government, including but not limited to budget and policy frameworks for their operation. And the Deputy President under the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance will also perform real duties that will be assigned to him by the President. <clears throat> I say this because it is important that every constitutional office must work for the people of Kenya. Um, ladies and gentlemen, that good Kenyan, my friend, whom I have worked with, especially on the economic model that now has famously been referred to the bottom-up economic model. And we started that journey together. He understands people issues. He is passionate about ordinary people. My friend, I present to you the Kenya Kwanzaa running mate candidate, my brother and friend, Rigathi Gashaba. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And straight up, As I present my brother Rigadi Gashagwa, I have agreed with him that him and me will work together with the Kenya Kwanzaa leadership represented here by the party leaders and other officials that we will work intentionally to mentor the younger leaders in our formation. And that we will deliberately provide room for those who are young in our formation to grow as leaders. And my deputy and I, have agreed that when our time comes to leave, we will leave and we will mentor other people to make sure we have proper, proper transition. Uh, because we believe that part of the success of any leadership is to mentor the younger ones into better leaders as we go into the future. We undertake that we will do that for the people, the leaders in our Kenya Kwanzaa formation alongside the other leaders who are here with us. 
We have also agreed with the Kenya Kwanzaa leaders seated here that we are committed to ensuring that the issue of gender, which has dogged our country since we started the implementation of the new constitution, that we will take the bull by the horns and ensure that within one year of our administration, the issue of gender will be sorted out. And the leadership at all levels will respect the constitutional required threshold. And in our administration, I have agreed with all the leaders here that we will start on day one with our administration that of the 21 ministers that we will appoint, 10 will be women. And we will ensure that all other appointive positions will respect the two-third gender rule as we work on ensuring that even the elective, we have the mechanism to ensure that we mainstream leadership of women, youth, and people living with disability as part of our agenda of not just inclusive economic growth, but also inclusive governance. We believe that there is a wealth of, exper there is a wealth of uh, experience and knowledge that can be brought on board by inclusion of all sectors of uh, our society. Uh, I want to leave uh, uh, that matter there and request my good friend, the Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, to make his uh, statement. Karibu Mishima. And congratulations. Excellency, today I'll read a statement. In fact, I have a small speech to our presidential candidate and indeed the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Ruto. I say it before you and country. I am honored by the responsibility and faith you have bestowed on me, you have bestowed upon me to be running with for the most defining election in Kenya's history. It is a responsibility I take pride in, knowing too well the elevation and esteem that my nomination occasions, but most importantly, one that also humbles me, that you put your trust in me, together with my colleagues, to deliver Kenyans from economic oppression. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, party leaders present, governors, members of parliament, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the greatest, the greatest days of my life. And with humility, I'd like to thank Almighty God for the gift of life, good health, and the favor he has shown me. Many of us in this alliance know that without God, we would not be where we are today. We have seen challenges turn into opportunities before us, handles we did not think we could surmount at the time have disappeared behind us, and I do not take it for granted. God has been gracious, and we give him all the glory. I know there are many in our alliance 
who are qualified for this position. And any one of them would have been up to the task. Your Excellency, our Deputy President, the trust and confidence you have shown in me is a privilege, and I'll do my very best to live up to those expectations. Thank you, Your Excellency. I will not let you down. I will not let the Hustler Nation down. I will not let the people of Kenya down. In this journey, one needs a mentor like the one you have been to us. One needs colleagues and friends like the ones with me here today and elsewhere. And most importantly, one needs family that provides a pillar in the equip, that equipped us with the right tools. Indeed, from the grass-thatched house, I stand here today with more than 30 years of public experience. I have been to and worked in every part of Kenya and understand the challenges that face our people in this beautiful country. More importantly, I am confident that a determined government working with all its citizens can overcome and override the obstacles that hold Kenya back. Today, many Kenyans wake up early and sleep late, but they rarely benefit from the work of their hands or the sweat of their brow. The tools to bridge that gap are lacking. This is the plight of the Hustler Nation. Today, the ambitions of many Kenyans are frustrated and cut short owing to the criminalization of enterprise. We must free the work environment and enterprises, big or small, from harassment, seizure of goods, and prohibitive fees. I cannot wait to work with you, Your Excellency, on the guaranteed minimum return for our farmers. Tea, milk, coffee, mira, rice, maize, cotton, cashew nuts, among other hot cultural produces. Others must now become the chicken that lay the golden eggs. Your Excellency, under your leadership, I believe we can this, take this country to the next level. Your story has been an inspiration to hustlers and all of us all over Kenya, and I'm no exception. With the team you have assembled, I believe we have what it takes to realize the dreams of the Hustler Nation, and it will be a great honor for me to play my part, and that I will. God bless Kenya. Congratulations, my friend. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, Kashagwa. Uh... Let me now uh, begin your first assignment as uh, my running mate, uh, because uh, you will be a very busy person. Your first assignment, uh, my good friend, that we have agreed with uh, the leaders here, is that you and uh, my good brother Moses Korea, who is uh, an economist by excellence, this good man, uh, will now offer the political leadership to our economic team. I am looking forward to you and the economic team delivering on the agenda that we, the robust agenda that we have assigned to the economic team. Uh, I am looking forward to you providing because you have walked with me on this journey. You know what we need to do. You, um, you have the, the, the understanding and the knowledge on what we need to do about access to credit for ordinary citizens. You know what we need to do about universal health coverage. Uh, we expect you and the economic team now to provide for us um, a context 
of how in 45 days <clears throat> we will have all the economic charters for all the counties and those counties that have not under that we have not finalized that we will have a program so that we can conclude on our economic charters so my good friend regarding Ashagwa uh, I uh, the team here of uh, party leaders and I expect you to hit the ground running so that Kenya Kwanzaa can be ready to govern day one when we get into office. So again, uh, by the grace of God, we know that um, together we will journey as a team and by God's grace get to the destination that we all want. Um, let me now ask uh, the, the other leaders who are here to make uh, some statements. I will uh, start with our brother, elder brother, Musalia Mudavadi, to make some comments. Please, my brother. Thank you, uh, Your Excellency, Mr. Deputy President, uh, William Samoy Ruto, and our presidential candidate for the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. At the very outset, let me take this opportunity to congratulate Rigabe Gachagua, who will now deputize William Samoy Ruto in our quest to take over the leadership of this country on the 9th of August, 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, this is indeed a momentous day, and indeed yesterday millions of Kenyans were held on tenterhooks, their nerves were racking, but now we have reached that point where collectively we own a decision, we own a process, and we shall now rally behind the Kenya Kwanzaa presidential candidate and the entire alliance with Rigathi Gachagua as the running mate. I just want to emphasize that there's an African proverb and I'm sure some of you have it in your various dialects, which says that one must be very careful so that the pot of water does not break at the doorstep. We have come a long way as a people. William Samoy Ruto and his team have come a long way Many Kenyans in the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance have come a long way. And what is being unveiled here is a culmination of a process of consultations, of deliberations, so that the pot does not break at the doorstep. I think there are so many people, especially on the opposite side, who are praying that we can make a mistake, who are praying that we can have some serious division in the process of reaching where we have reached. But I thank God and we thank all the people who participated that your patient resilience has paid off. And if they were waiting for that pot to break, I'm sorry, it has not happened. We intend to move ahead. We intend to win. In any case, we have no op other option. We have to win. We have to stand for the people of Kenya. And as Rigade has said, and as the Deputy President has said, 
They were very serious candidates. He has named them here. At a personal level, I want to also acknowledge them for having participated in this process, for having been put forward. And at the end of the day, we are one team. We shall win. Because what is bigger is that the people of Kenya must be freed from the economic hardships. The cost of living is painful. Only last night, the cost of fuel went up again by five shillings and 50 cents a litre. The spiral effect, the multiplier effect of this is extremely painful to a lot of Kenyans. We must deal with the public debt. We must deal with corruption. We are seeing very clearly that some of our international partners, the IMF, the Global Fund, are raising concerns, legitimate concerns, that resources that were allocated to this country to ensure that our people are healthy have been misappropriated and audits that were promised to be done and culprits be brought to book are still walking large as if nothing has happened. So clearly, as Kenyans, we have a critical task ahead of us. We must pull together. We want the IBC to do its job and we want Kenyans to also do their job. This is not a moment to say that we are leaving it purely to the leadership. We are in it together as a people and our opportunity to turn things around, to change things for the better is on the 9th of August 2022 with William Samoy Ruto carrying our flag and we shall all rally behind. God bless Kenya. God bless Kenya Kwanzaa and God bless all those individual voters throughout this republic who know what they must do and who will do what they must do. God bless you. Thank you very much, uh, my brother, Musalim Davadi. Um, let me now ask uh, our speaker, who was also in this race, Justin Bidan Mutul. President and all leaders uh, here present, members of parliament, and fellow Kenyans. Uh, today, it's obviously, as has been said by uh, the Honorable Rashagua, a momentous uh, day uh, at which we have seen the successful conclusion of an extremely robust and intense consultation that I believe leaves no bitter grapes in uh, anybody's uh, mouth. Everyone satisfied that they had a chance. I want to confirm that uh, as one of those uh, fronted by both my party and uh, other Kenyans, I am satisfied with the results of that process and congratulate my brother regarding Achagua With whom I share some uh, history, he served um, as a personal assistant to the current president when uh, we, together with the deputy president, when we were doing some other things, but ended, uh, ended in, uh, in the opposition. <laughs> but my happiness today is about uh, the democratic nature of the process that has gone into this uh, resort.
the many hours that uh, many leaders uh, have spent, the messages of encouragement that have come from across uh, the breadth and width of our country have all borne fruit. And I really must thank all those that have participated. And now that the part is over, we must, as we've been told by the Deputy President and our presidential candidate, the Honorable William Ruto, that is now time for us to roll our sleeves in our various parts and go and ensure that the message of this alliance, the economic revival message, the message of hope that is embodied by this alliance becomes the clarion call of every Kenyan in every corner of the country. I therefore wish to say that, uh, Your Excellency, we will work with you and the Honorable Gashagua and all these other leaders it is not in vain that we spent those hours and that uh, going forward, those of us now, the Honorable Duala is here, knows that uh, we have very few days and we must now go to the villages, come every hamlet to ensure victory come August 9th, 2022. Thank you very much. God bless Kenya. Thank you very much. Let me uh, the party leader of Fort Kenya, our good brother, Senator Moses Fetangula, to make some remarks. Much, Your Excellency, uh, Deputy President, and now our merited candidate for the leadership of our country. Let me start by congratulating my good friend and brother, Rigat Kashagwa, for being given the role of running mate and now being our presumptive deputy president of the Republic of Kenya come 9th August this year. In doing so, I want to urge fellow Kenyans as people of faith, as people of hope, that now we begin the illustrious journey on our last lap to start the reconstruction of our country's economy, the restoration of our people's aspirations and hope, and above all, the restoration of Kenya's position as a team leader in this region. Among the many things that our government of Kenya Kwanzaa will pay attention to is the role of Kenya as a beacon of hope and peace and the giant of the East African region, the Horn of Africa, and the Great Lakes region. We are a country that has been punching below our weight in this regard. And I want to urge our leader, our incoming president, and all of us here assembled and Kenyans of goodwill that our future economic growth will, among other things, depend on how we engage our regional trading partners of Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, South Sudan, Somalia, DR Congo, Ethiopia, and that many of us who have a historical traction in this regard will put in our role to make sure that it turns into a benefit to our economy. 
This country has many challenges, but all these challenges will be met by men and women of greater vigor, determination, and focus to ensure that our country and people of our country who have been toiling and moiling in the heat and the cold of our various weather patterns in the country will finally take the benefits of their sweat. From the cane farmer in the west and the coast, the coffee farmer in many parts of the country, the tea farmer, the rice farmer, every farmer in this country is hurting because of the cost of inputs, the inferiority of seeds, and above all, the minimal, if anything, to talk about returns from their sweat. When the president in waiting talks of GMR, guaranteed minimum returns, it automatically puts a smile on the face of every farmer who will now be going into the activities literally in what they call in other jurisdictions contractual farming. And we know it is farming that employs the bulk of our workforce in this country. I want to urge that all of us, from the young hustlers on the streets of every market and town in Kenya, to those in high offices, the clarion call is one, that the pain and suffering Kenyans are going through is not limited to those who are paining. It must touch the hearts of even those who are not in the line of the pain. Because our country, with our huge and ever-growing population, listed by the UNDP as a country with one of the best well-educated human resource, can be able to do a lot better than we do, and this will come from a focused, determined, pro-people administration that will not be focused on grandiose programs and projects, but will be focused on how to lift the ordinary person, the mamamboga in the villages, who every day wakes up with a nightmare on whether their children will have food on the table, whether their children will be in school, and whether the little possessions they have will fall in the hands of the hammer of the auctioneer because of petty borrowing. We are going to put everything in place to make every Kenyan's life worth their while, and we urge all Kenyans that there is no alternative to Kenya Kwanzaa. Our worthwhile competitors are focused on grandiose of consumption. <laughs> we are focused on production before consumption. And that is how to grow a country. And growing the country we will, we pray that from Vanga to Kibish, from Lamu to Malaba, every Kenyan on the tip of Mount Kenya and Mount Elgon thinks positively and sees William Samoe Ruto and regard Kashagwa and all of us here assembled as the safest pair of hands to carry our country forward. We have tried the alternative, and we can only sum it up in the words of one writer who called it the lunatic unthinkable. <laughs> we now must focus on the possibilities of the Kenya people being what they must be. May God bless Kenya. May God bless our captain and his deputy. And may all of us constantly know that we must ask ourselves what we are putting in and not what we are taking out of this journey. Thank you.
you very much, uh, the Honorable Moses Otangula, famously known as uh, Papa Waroma. Let me ask our sister, Anne Mombewaiguru, who was also a formidable contestant to make her remarks. Karibu. Thank you, Your Excellency. First of all, I'd like to start by thanking the Almighty God for bringing us thus far. It was a very hectic couple of days. And um, in those days, I'm sure everybody knows it wasn't easy. Uh, we thank very much our party leader for his patience his endurance in leading us in this process. I want to thank the people of Kenya and our coalition for giving me the opportunity to be considered. I consider it a very great honor. As you have heard, I missed it by a whisker. And I am very confident in the choice that we have made I want to start by passing my personal congratulatory message to our running mate, Rigadi Gashagwa. I want to let you know that you have my over 150% support. I will stand with you. I will support you. And together with the party leader and the Kenya Kwanzaa coalition, work on mobilizing not just Mount Kenya, but the rest of the country to make sure that we bring the presidency home. That is the most important thing. We also have to thank this team for Having given us certain considerations, I will not speak for long because I know the sun is hot. One of the key considerations that we have gotten, despite not getting the woman as a running mate, we have secured 50% of cabinet to be women. And that is a big, big plus. And we thank you, Your Excellency, for that consideration. We have also secured very many things. There have been very many agreements that have been discussed here. The GMR is key. But I also want to mention about the economic model that we have bottom up, the increase of resources to the counties to ensure that development is part from the bottom, and also the allocation of the one man, one shilling. And we thank you, Your Excellency, and the team, Kenya Kwanzaa, we want you to know that you have our support. We will stand with this team completely. We will campaign like our lives depend on it. And we will make sure that you end up as the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. Asante Nisan. Chap Chap, and he has told us this morning, it is Mandeleo. Chap chap na wanawake. So it's not so mindlewa na waka is the same. Okay. I'm so happy about the inclusion of women in government because our mothers hold this country together. Our women are the most hard working people in this country. And they do very well. I've been very outspoken about the right and positions given to our, our loved ones, our mothers and our sisters and our daughters. Uh, Mimi yangu nitaichapa chap chap. Your Excellency, our party leader, and the next incoming President of the Republic of Kenya, our future Deputy President, Rigade, and I want to recognize also uh, the spouses, uh, Madam Ruto, Your Excellency, Madam uh, Kashagwa, and congratulations. I first saw or heard Kashagwa at uh, the funeral of my fellow governor, his brother. And uh, I asked the person sitting with me, who is that man? He was the master of ceremony. 
because they found him to be very articulate and very, very smart and very, very sharp. So we're getting somebody here who actually noticed even before I knew who you are. So congratulations. My points are five. One, I'm very happy to be in Kenya Kwanzaa. Now I can breathe. I can breathe. Here there's a spirit of democracy, a spirit of consultation. Last night I enjoyed the marathon of 17 hours because it was down my alley discussing development, discussing how to change Kenya for Kenyans, not just for a few. Number two, Kenya has for a long time become been a country of a few billionaires and millions who are poor. We want to be able to change our country. Our youth do not need, you know, uh, handouts. Our youth need hands up. They need to be given opportunities to thrive. Our opportunities to thrive. And so I'm very, very happy about being in this team. And quickly, number three. You know, leadership is about development. It's about how we are going to transform people. And I'm so happy that my views, the views of my party, Mandeleo Chap Chap, have been incorporated in Kenya Kwanzaa. Because here we work together. Kule kwingine tulukota soma habari kwa redi, kwa magazet, na juu what is happening. Here we are being involved. And I'll tell my people, and especially the young of this country, we are looking at industrialization. We want to have factories everywhere so that our youth can get jobs. We want to be able to give you opportunities. We want to be able to, our uh, women who have become donkeys carrying water on their backs in our country, we want to transform our country, have taps. The tap that should be farthest from a house in this country should not be more than 200 meters. So we want to push that water in the household, change our lives. Our roads, I know people of Ukambani are looking at me thinking, what, have you, what, what are you looking, talking about? We're talking about Emali Ukia Road, the roads in Didini, Mwale, Mwala Kangundo Roads, connecting uh, South Kitu with places like Malindi, some of those things that need to be done so that we can be able to improve the economy. And he forgot to tell you that uh, even though we're getting 10%, our 10, 10 ministers will be women, but in that arrangement, we'll have young people in government. We want young people in government. Haitakuwa nyumba ya waze, itakuwa nyumba ya vijana na waze. The wisdom of the, of the older people and the, and the energy of the youth and continuing. And we want more money in the pocket. And lastly, lastly, we, let us work together as leaders. Me, I want to work with everybody here and let us hold hands together. Our target is one, defeating the other team and getting to state house and running this country properly after all these 60 years. It's time Kenyans will enjoy freedom na will enjoy kupata huru. Number five, lastly, mavijana, mazen tukaini rada, maisha na haso yako itakuwa vichapchap na ruto. Tusare stories za kuzimia, tujipange na Kenya Kwanza na man ruto. Thank you and God bless you. Uh, to my mom, uh, Alfie, Mbogi Iko Chonjo Gabisa. So, um, uh, two things. Let me, um, uh, there is something I, I missed in my statement, sorry, I think in the process of, uh, I missed out the name of uh, Governor Haemba from Transoya who will be part of the leadership in, in, in the Rift Valley region, and uh, both Rift Valley and Western, and also our friend Onesmas uh, Kemaningujiri, who is uh, our chairman, uh, chairman of many things, <laughs> and, uh, and many groups. We are in the Omze, uh, chairman wa Amani, chairman wa PG, chairman wa many things. And, uh, uh, that he will also provide overall leadership in, uh, in the Rift Valley alongside the other leaders that I announced. Maybe let me, uh, just before I ask my brother William Nemsik to make his statement, um, my good friend Alfred Mutua has said something, but let me also, uh, the Honorable Musalia Mudabadi, 
and the Honorable Moses Wetangula have a function, one in Eldoret and another one in Bungoma. So they have asked uh, to leave, and I, I think uh, our two brothers, I think you can, we can allow you to leave so that you can catch up with the other functions on the other end as we uh, conclude this, uh, this exercise. To Apigema Coffee, Santi Santi. But let me also tell, uh, let me say something about what uh, Alfie, Alfred Mutua has said. Alfred Mutua has said there is a world of a difference between Kenya Kwanzaa and the other side, which is true. Kenya Kwanzaa is a coalition of Democrats, the free and the willing. The other side is the complete opposite. And in Kenya Kwanzaa, we have signed our agreements openly, in daylight, and all partners have met, have contributed to the content of the agreements that we have signed. The other side, people are forced to sign agreements blindfolded with lights switched off. And that is why nobody is allowed to have a copy of agreements on the other side. Fortunately for us, our agreements are available. That's why they are all over in social media and other places, because we are transparent, honest people. Some of our competitors have tried to use our agreements to try and sanitize the BBI project. We want to tell them there is a world of a difference between what we have done and the BBI shenanigans. Let me say this for the record, that the agreement you see has clearly demonstrated that you can reorganize government without spending 20 billion to change the constitution. By a, stroke of a pen, by a stroke of a pen, we have shown the people of Kenya that BBI was actually a fraudulent engagement. It was not about the people of Kenya, it was about a few leaders. We have demonstrated that it is possible to organize government the way you want without spending 20, 30 billion to change the constitution. And therefore, there is a world of a difference, uh, our friends, there is a world of a difference between your BBI and our agreements. Let me also tell uh, our competitors, we have committed that we will have, we will reorganize our equitable allocation of resources to take care of population and other considerations. And we will do it again without necessarily spending billions to change the constitution because we are creative, we are innovative, and we are considerate. The 20, 30 billion shillings that we would spend on constitutional amendments to accommodate those things, we will use it to set up the Hustler Fund and be able to get millions of Kenyans languishing today, blacklisted in CRBs, we will be able to give them access to credit that they can afford. So uh, I just wanted to say that for the record now that Alfred Mutua um, said something about the Kuzimia people. Let me request my brother William Kabogo Gitau to make uh, his remarks. Nam Nashkuru Naibu Rice. 
itifaki zote zikeheshimika kwanza nichukue fursa hii nimpe hongera mheshimiwa Gashagwa kwa kuteuliwa kuwa mgombeaji wa kiti ya naibu wa rais akiwepo hapa siku ya leo pia nikushukuru kwa sababu kazi hii wewe ulikuwa wewe ndio mwenyewe ulikuwa ni wewe useme tu ni huyu mimi nitakimbia naye lakini kwa sababu ya mawiano na kuweza kuzungumza na sisi ambao tumeungana katika Kenya kwanza na wabunge wote wa mlima Kenya ulifungua nafasi hiyo japokuwa jana jioni niliona ni kama ulikuwa unajuta <laughs> ni kwa nini ulifungua lakini all is well that ends well mimi nitaungana na wewe kusaidiana na wewe na mheshimiwa Gashagwa ili kuweza kufanya campaign mrengo huu wa Kenya kwanza uweze kupata ushindi mwezi wa nane. leo sio siku ya maneno kitu ningemuuliza tu chap chap pia angeweza kusema kwa mavijana tujibebe sisi wenyewe Kenya kwanza pamoja na tutaunda serikali kwa sababu tukijibeba ni sawa tukikosa kujibeba tutabebwa na tukibebwa tutabebeka kwa hivyo ni muhimu namna hiyo ile nyingine which is very dear to my heart na umesema the women issue or the gender issue has dogged this country for a long time mimi sina wasiwasi katika serikali yetu maneno ya gender haitakuwa maneno mimi mwenyewe cabinet yangu Kiambu ilikuwa 70% wa mama na sio kwa sababu mimi napenda wa mama sana ni, ni kwa sababu wanafaa and they are competitive just like they are the opposite gender ile ambayo mimi nimefurahia na umeitaja hapa and all politics is local mimi kutoka watu wa milima Kenya sisi tunasema watu ni wengi sana na msemo wa kiserikali usema huduma kwa jamii jamii ni watu kwa hivyo hiyo umetaja hapa ya kusema nyongeza ya pesa ambaye itawekwa juu ya ile ambayo tunapata sasa kwa county iweze kugawiwa kulingana na wingi wa watu na hiyo ikifanyika tutapata marupurupu au pesa zikienda mashinani kulingana na wingi wa watu na nifafanue sio kusema wale ambayo wanapata nyingi sahihi wanyang'anywe la tunasema ile ambayo wanapata sahihi iwe ndio minimum nyongeza za juu ziweze kuongezwa kulingana na wingi wa watu nimeona mimi mwenyewe na chapo wa leo magazetini kuwa tulikuja hapa kugawa viti mimi najua na na hakika hatujawahi zungumza na wewe maneno ya viti maneno tunazungumza hapa ni kupeleka Kenya mbele na kuinua hali ya maisha ya wakenya na sio hali ya maisha ya wachache nitamuomba mheshimiwa muradhi aniwachie kidogo nafasi niweze kufanya shughuli zangu kwa sababu i am a busy man mimi si mtu wa kukaa <laughs> bila kazi ya kufanya kwa hivyo ombi langu mheshimiwa naibu wa rais ni kuwa matamshi hayo ya nyongeza ya pesa iweze kupata mahali ambayo inaweza andikwa ni wache kuulizwa na watu kila leo matamshi yako mheshimiwa kabogo haipatikani mahala fulani ningependa kusema mimi na haki and i truly believe in what it is that you have said here today that the interest of the people come first and we want to uplift the standards of the kenyan person na niseme mkenya tukisema kujenga taifa sio kujenga lami peke yake wala kujenga mabarabara au ports peke yake ni kujaza flusi au pesa ukipenda ndani ya mifuko ya wakenya wakenya wanaumia nataka kuachia hapo
Mheshimiwa Gachagua usiwe na wasiwasi sisi ukikaa na sisi vilivyo vile tumevyozungumza tutaweza kusukuma hii gurudumu mpaka uingie boma hili na ukija boma hili tafadhali jaribu utaweka hapa sijui kivuli ya aina gani kwa sababu tumeumia siku ya leo asanteni na Mungu aweza kuwabariki nafikiri wewe kashakuwa umesikia Mungu atatujalia kabla hujajenga hiyo gifuli hapa chengea mahasala kwanza mali ya kufanya biashara ikipaki pesa kidogo unaweza kufanya hiyo ingine otherwise thank you very much uh, my good brother William Kabogo uh, on the sentiments you have expressed um, as i have said earlier the resource allocation on the basis of population was actually the rallying call of our team and we have every intention of making sure that every kenyan is treated equally irrespective of where they are and access equal resources so you uh, one shilling one kenya is uh, is is the is at the center of our bottom up economic economic uh, model many people for example assume that nairobi is a country of rich people in fact among the poorest people live in the city of nairobi there are more children out of school in nairobi city than there are in in mandera for example so we will we will tackle poverty in in every place and uh, the the people that have been suggested today in our economic team will finalize and uh, together we will have a blueprint that will capture all the aspirations that we believe in let me now request my good friend Moses Kuria MK Kabisa Your Excellency the incoming president of the Republic of Kenya fellow leaders our incoming deputy president my good friend Ricardo Gashagua and all leaders present It has been not been an easy time Kiwambia ilikuwa rahisi tunaweza kuwa tunawada gani. And as I told my colleagues yesterday, we were not looking for the best decision. We were looking for the most optimal decision. Because the deputy president is a fortunate, unfortunate man who happens to have a team that is wide, deep, and very broad in terms of expertise. It has an excess and abundance of skill and competence. And to choose one individual within those circumstances is not the easiest thing. It is not possible that all of us uh, had to see the thing the same way, because that is why God created us as humans who are different. Otherwise, he could have created us as zebras who are all similar. And the good thing and the great thing is that by putting our diversity together, we are able to deliver as a team, not for us, but for this country. So let me first of all recognize the individuals, our colleagues, who were fortunate enough to be on the shortlist. We're going to wait to your shortlist of you, sir. So, Anne Weguro, you are a great woman. You are a great lady of this country. And your concession today makes you bigger and taller in this conversation. Same as my good brother, Senator Kindiki Kidure, and the person that uh, I was supporting, J.B. Muturi, who has also considered. 
Najua sasa lazima JB pia mimi nikaja mimi ni jeshi yako. Lakini sasa imeishia hapo. Mimi kutoka leo mimi ni jeshi ya Ligadi la Sheikh. I'm a transparent man. And so therefore we are one, one big team. And as I told Ligadi la Sheikh today you are not just going to be a deputy president. You are going to be what we call primus inter pares, the first among equals, a leader of a team that is diverse, that is going to work together. I've worked with you in the, in the, in the transport committee here where I was your chair, and you respected me as your, as your vice chair of the transport committee, and I'm sure together we are going to work together for, for this country. Let me also say that we also share another deep common interest for our region. And some people think it's tribalism when we talk about regions. This country is a house, and this house is made of pillars. Last week I was with the Honorable Musaria Mudabari and Honorable Etangula with the Deputy President in Western Kenya, where we benefited from very deep conversations about things that affect the economic pillars of the Western region. And so every region, we are going to build a house that has got strong pillars from all regions, and I'm very, very, I'm very happy, Your Excellency that you have entrusted me with this responsibility of ensuring that we drive our economic agenda, working with the Honorable Ricardo Gashagua and the team. And I want to assure you that as your economic running mate, I'm equal to the task. <laughs> and matters of giving Kenyans access to credit, access to capital, reviving our agriculture, and most important, creating jobs. You know, if we create jobs in this country, if we give young people jobs, this issue of even crime is going to go down and other vices. Come as this, uh, Your Excellency, when I pass this case, I'll be busy. So, at our to sit at the corner to can a tena. The old Jewe, the case what we are going to make cosa. To keep at the edge and away to case pia. Inji takuwa safi. So those issues of one man, one shilling that uh, uh, we are talking about, issues of uh, fair representation, which is very important, issues of our key sectors, coffee, tea. We are not asking you, Your Excellency, at you to say, Dear Naizo Vitu, is a Rikali Sioyako, is a Rikali Nietu. We are going to move in and implement them ourselves. So whether the Adikwe, the Adikwe, how can you sign a contract with yourself? Because in Israel, yeah. yeah. So we will implement them. Because we are not going to ask for your permission. We are going to implement the one man, one shilling. We are going to implement the equality of votes. And we are going to ourselves, working as a team, implement the revival of the key sectors of our economy. Civil service reform, because we have to reform the civil service. All these things have to be anchored within the civil service. My party has nominated... Dr. Joyce Nyamoya, former PS for civil service, to join this team, uh, which she has graciously accepted, because we want to return this country back to the Kibaki days where we had an efficient civil service. And Joyce, myself, and Dr. Mutua worked together uh, with, with Kibaki on that, and the good old days are, are coming back. Finally, I know this country is having a lot of anxiety to do. But I want to assure this country, Kwamba Bere Ikosawa, we are okay, we are safe, with this team we are safe. And I want to tell my good friend, my very, very good friend, Honorable His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta, with Kenya Kwanza government, you will be okay. In fact, you will regret why you never supported it. This fears that have been spread around, that we are going to be vindictive, that we are going to run down this country, that we are going to run corrupt government, let me assure you, Your Excellency, as your member of parliament and your friend, that is hot air. It is not true. We are going to run this country in a way which we are going to say that you thank God you picked William Ruto as you were running me 10 years ago, and you thank God that you worked with this team, and together we are going to act together. And I want to ask His Excellency the President, please, this is where you belong. I still believe you belong here. If you choose to belong here, it's fine. The only punishment we'll give you is to live in a country where there's economic prosperity. God bless you all. Thank you.
<laughs> Thank you very much, Moses. Uh, Moses, when he's not doing those other things, is a very brilliant person. And we need his brain to help us do what we have to do about our economy. Let me request uh, our good brother, the leader of the pastoralist community of Kenya, the one and only Aden Bari Duale. Thank you, Excellency. And let me take this opportunity after the 17 hours uh, marathon session uh, to congratulate my good friend, the Honorable Rigathi Gashagwa, as our deputy captain in the 9th August general election. Your Excellency, Deputy Captain Rigathi, and I'm sure you yourself, you are a manifestation and representation of the many of us leaders who were tormented the last five years. So, Rigathi, you have an uphill task. You know what we went through last night. We know the sacrifices, as the Deputy President said, this is a coalition of the willing of free and democracy. So after this, Honorable Gashagwa, you need to make sure that you take up the leadership as the Deputy Captain. Your Excellency, Kenya is defined the map of Kenya is defined both, if you look at the constitution, both in terms of the people and the size. That is how our country is defined. And because this coalition is a coalition that believes in the equity of the people of Kenya, this coalition will at all times harmonize standardize both in terms of resource and representation and sharing of everything, putting into consideration the land size and the population. There are those of us who believe in the one man, one shilling, one vote. And there are many of us, our history, when it is written, we come from regions that believe in one kilometer, one shilling, one vote. So you must, this coalition, I am sure, is up to the task to come to the middle ground to make sure that each and every region and every people will have their fair and constitutional right. To Your Excellency, as we fix the economy and more so the bottom up economy, we must defend, and this coalition under your leadership stands to defend the 2010 Constitution. And that is why we oppose the BBI shenanigans. This coalition must respect the independence of institution as created by the Constitution. Your Excellency, in your 100 days, you must sign and allow us to operationalize the Judiciary Fund. In our 100 days, we must give the Inspector General of, of Police his constitutional autonomy, both in terms of resources and operational mandate. Your Excellency, you must, we must allow the independency 
of independent institutions. And under your leadership, you should not allow the use of the criminal justice system. And you saw our competitor the other day dressing down the governor of Kilifi, saying that you went through my dry cleaning at Capitol Hill. Honorable Kingi is as clean. He has never been charged of anything. You must defend, Your Excellency, those institutions in the criminal justice system, the DCI, the DPP, the EACC, the control of budget, and the Auditor General. The last five years, they became victims of state cartels and brokers around the presidency. Your Excellency, we must all stand for all the faith and the religions in this country. You are a man of God. And our Constitution provides each one of us the freedom to worship God. Finally, Your Excellency, we have a team here. And you have confirmed to all and sundry and that's why Kenyans are waiting for this moment that you don't need to have a fake interview session in Serena to pick a running mate. You don't have to consult a retiring president for a running mate position. You don't need to blackmail people, particularly women and great leaders of our country, that in the morning you are the candidate. Lunchtime, you are, there is another candidate. Yesterday we stayed here from 9 a.m. to 1 o'clock, and you gave us the opportunity to pick one of us, by the grace of God, to be your deputy. Please, we want to ask you, in the event, and we will form the next government, do not allow your deputy, Rigathi Gashagwa, to be humiliated both in character and person. Do not allow what you went through the last five years as William Ruto. Don't allow either by yourself or your cabinet or your friends. We want you to defend and protect the constitutional provision for the position of the deputy president and I am sure that is why you will sign and you have said an executive order that apart from being your single most advisor, you have given him other portfolios. Some of us who are your very close friends, we did not sleep many nights when junior officers in government humiliated you and this office. Your security was humiliated. Your budget was given to other people. Please do not allow that. And finally, on behalf of the pastoralists, because you have said I'm the pastoral leader, you are the chair when the World Bank gave $100 billion to open up the corridor in northern Kenya from Modogashe to Mandera Highway, to electricity and water. And you chaired that meeting many times here. But because William Ruto was chairing, people in government, under the specific instructions of the president, that project is stalled. We want you to commit here today just like the way you have committed many other things as I was watching you, 
as I sit down, I want you to come and commit to the people of northern Kenya that in 100 days, your government will implement, inshallah, that World Bank 100 billion project so that since independence, the people of northern Kenya can get a route. And finally, you want you to come and commit that never again the many Kenyans who are watching me, who their sons and daughters are killed every day through extrajudicial killings by agents of state will be a thing of the past under your administration. I want you just to come and commit those two so that the Kenyans who are watching you will say, yes, William Ruto and has been and will be, even when he becomes the president, the president of everybody and a man who respects the rule of law. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Arden Duale. That's the voice of the leader of the pastoralists in Kenya. And I want to tell you, my brother, you have walked with me this journey many years. You know my commitment. You know where my... Uh, you know what we believe in we believe in fairness the 100 billion shillings program under the World Bank is not just about the roads it's about electricity connection it is about water for northern part of Kenya and I want to commit to the people of northern Kenya that part of our 100 day program will be the unlocking of that program and making sure that that program delivers the 700 kilometers of road from Isiolo to Mandela and also delivers water to the millions of citizens in that corner and also lights up towns and villages in northern part of Kenya. And uh, to also tell you that uh, the criminal justice system will never be used again to run the politics of Kenya. And that every Kenyan must be treated equally. And all criminals must be dealt with in accordance with the law. And no Kenyan should be victimized and subjected to extrajudicial activities, including elimination. That has no provision in any law. It has no provision in any constitution. And it will never happen under the Kenya Kwanzaa administration, and specifically under my watch. So let me now invite my good brother, Amazon Jefferson King, the party leader of PA and the governor of Kilifi. And uh, as King uh, comes, um, he is very passionate about Matas Coast and he has brought a lot of uh, wealth and experience with his brother um, Salim Vuria and many leaders from the coast to this Kenya Kwanzaa coalition. Karibu. Thank you. My good brother, let me uh, ask uh, uh, William Kabogo. He's asking to leave. He had come to benchmark on matters appointing running mate. And he tells me he now has the relevant lessons and he wants to go and engage in the exercise of looking for a running mate for his candidate. <laughs> See, just like the, uh, my colleagues who have spoken before me, allow me on behalf of uh, the Power Fraternity and on my own behalf to congratulate Honorable Gashagwa being unveiled at the Kenya Kwanzaa 
running mate. Your Excellency, I may not pride myself for attending this ceremony. If it was only a preserve of Kenya Kwanzaa, I'll be very proud. But 41 presidential candidates will do exactly what we are doing today. Whoever, whatever we do after this, will show the difference between us and those presidential candidates who are unveiling the running mates like us. Your Excellency, where you come from, there is one saying that says, Kuza mtoto sikazi. Kazi nikumlea mtoto. Unveiling Honorable Gashagwa as a running mate, si kazi. Kazi nwakikisha William Ruto na Honorable Gashagwa mumoja ameka State House na mungine anatukaribisha hapa kwanzia tarais tisa mwezi wanane. That is the most critical thing going forward. And therefore, as we leave this place, we have to take this ticket to every household. In Kenya Kwanza, unlike the other areas, our competitors to say, we're not taking William Ruto to every household in this country. We're not taking Honorable Gashagwa to the households of this country. As we market the two of you, we are taking to the house of this country a message of hope. That's the difference. We are taking real and practical solutions to the problems facing our people. The problems facing Kenyans will not be solved through pedestrian declarations. The problems afflicting our people will not be solved through political rhetorics. The problems facing Kenyans will be solved through well thought out programs and activities tailored towards addressing the plight of our people. And that is the message we are taking home, and that is the difference between us and our competitors. Your Excellency, I'm happy because a big portion of your opening speech was lifted from agreements that have been signed. Agreements that are legally enforceable. And therefore, these are not just mere promises to the Kenyan people. These are commitments. It's an oath between Kenya Kwanzaa and the Kenyan person. I will not today go through the commitments that you did on behalf of PA and on behalf of the coast people. The difference between us and them is that as we go campaigning, whatever statement that will come out of our mouths is a statement that is lifted from a written document, from an agreement that is being held by a third party. That is the difference. The other side, their policies are rather reactionary. They only react to what Kenya Kwanzaa has thought through. For every well thought, well thought out policy from Kenya Kwanzaa, there is a street version from Azimio. A good example is what happened in Mombasa yesterday. Because of Kenya Kwanzaa committed in writing, signed an agreement 
forward on behalf of the people of Coast that when we form government on the 9th of August, the port operations in the port of Mombasa, a dedicated program, both administrative and legal reform program, will be put in place so that the economic sufferings brought about the transfer of those activities is eased out. That is thought out very well in Kenya Kwanzaa. We had a street version in Mombasa yesterday from Azimio. From nowhere, if you look at their policies, if you look at the manifesto, the issue of returning the operations of the port does not appear anywhere in any written document by Azimio. The statement by the presidential candidate of Azimio yesterday was reactionary, a street version of a well thought out policy by Kenya Kwanzaa. It is laughable and indeed an insult to the intelligence of the coastal person for Azimio to say once the form government after winning the elections of 9th of August that they will reverse the operations. Kenyans, if you look at the Azimio leadership, indeed you know that Azimio is the current government. If they know they did evil to the people of coast, they can reverse it now. They don't have to wait for Mwishimo Raila to be president. They are government now. So to the presidential candidate of Azimio, that was a bluff. We're intelligent people. Zamani mulisema tunaka chini ya minazi. Kungoja nazi zianguke. Not anymore. We, as a people, we know exactly what we have secured in Kenya Kwanzaa. Hence the reason why the entire coast will look the direction that Kenya Kwanzaa is moving. Because in Kenya Kwanzaa, there lies a solution to a land problem. In Kenya Kwanzaa, there lies a solution to a dwindling economic opportunities at the coast. And indeed in Kenya Kwanzaa, our space at the national level shall be opened. Your Excellency, from the power fraternity, you have a word that we will go to every corner of this country, every village, knocking doors with humility, unlike the other side, kicking doors as they look for votes. We will be kneeling as we ask for votes from our Kenya. Because that's what we are. And to echo what Governor Mtua, my brother Governor Mtua just said, as pa, we are very happy to be in Kenya Kwanzaa. Because finally, the knee is off our neck. We can breathe, finally. Finally, Your Excellency, on the two propositions, one made by Moses Kuria and the other made by Honorable Adam Duale, I believe the team that we put together, the economic team that we have put together, that is their first task. Let them return to us a verdict, a verdict that will make a Kenyan in Makueni, in Kilifi, in Kirinyaga, in Kisumu, be proud because they're in a country that values fairness and equity. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much, uh, uh, Let me now request my good
Thank you, Excellency. And uh, I will know if I no longer now drop first us. I, would, I take it officially, <laughs> now that you have insisted on it. <laughs> Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, uh, party leaders present, uh, members of parliament, all of us who are gathered here today, I join my colleagues in congratulating Moshimua Ligadi Gashagwa for now being officially unveiled as the Deputy uh, President. He'll be able to fly, to fly the flag together that we have had enough experiences together. We have fought together in the trenches. We have suffered together. And therefore, you have one corrective duty. And the duty is to ensure that the, on 9th of August this year, Kenyans will no longer wake up in suffering and pain that have been occasioned by this administration. We agreed all of, of us together to join Kenya Kwanzaa because we knew that together we can start. And we knew that if we are divided, we shall fall. Again, with all our experiences, and that, that is why you can see today, some joined a few days ago, others have been here from beginning. We have sailed in different ships, but at the end of the day, we are now in one ship, that is Kenya Kwanzaa. We are in agreement that nothing is going to divide us. We are in agreement that uh, whatever it takes for us to win this government, in a peaceful process, we are going to apply it to ensure that we live to the dreams of our, our forefathers. What is there in our national anthem that there must be plenty for all Kenyans? That let there be plenty for all Kenyans. And therefore, for us to prosper, I'm happy today that I have looked at the model bottom up. But I'm also very happy that in the Big Four agenda, which the Deputy President is very passionate about, he is the architect. Everything in the agriculture sector and growth transformation strategy was well penned down in this office. From beginning to the end, the only person who understood the, the, the four pillars, the big four agenda, is His Excellency, the Deputy President. We can try to approach the process from all other corners, but at the end of the day, is that you want that Kenyan down there to ensure that there is food on their table. To do that, the only way out, because you have to start with the small things, but there's no small. Agriculture is the backbone of our economy. And therefore, I'll be very happy to work with your administration, because I know very well that already the groundwork that you have done, you are going to actualize the agriculture sector growth and transformation strategy. Because if you make sure that Kenyans are properly fed, this will now spur any other uh, among the other four pillars. Because if you ensure that Kenyans are properly fed, we are producing enough, then this will still automatically bring about manufacturing in this country. Value addition, employment for our people, and at the same time, ensuring that we have money in our pockets. If we have money in our pockets, we shall now be able to buy houses. If we have enough money, we have enough employment for our people, they are going to be able to buy houses on their own, even without having any program, but they can be supported. Health is, curat is not curative, it's preventive. And therefore, again, if you take care of agriculture and Kenyans are well fed, it means that, again, these Kenyans will not be attending this simple, simple medical attention that we are occasioned by poor feeding. And therefore, for me, I take it with a lot of passion that we are going to articulate those issues, and agriculture must come first. All the speakers here, we have talked about minimum, guaranteed returns, about uh, uh, fisheries, about uh, livestock. It's all about agriculture. And this is one sector that has been ignored. 
The other day I was looking at what the, uh, the current administration has done since 2013 and how funds were allocated. And you can see how much was allocated to manufacturing. And we are talking of uh, taking this country to the next level about prosperity. How can you do that when you ignore the sectors that can spur growth of our economy? And therefore, it is my belief that we shall put money where it is necessary, not building a, a, a railway line for legacy, but first of all, ensuring that Kenyans are properly fed. It is good to have those roads because, again, you cannot trade without those facilities. But at the same time, why should you put up money, billions of shillings, trillions, when Kenyans cannot feed themselves? And therefore, I joined this team knowing very well that you are taken care of. Kenyans are taken care of. That the priority of our people will be what will drive your government. Your Excellency, the issues that touches every region and Kenyans. You have spoken out, and it is important that you have now come out clearly. On issues of uh, one man, one vote, one sharing, and equal representation. It is dear to us, and I know very, very well that you'll be able to navigate, you'll be able to carry all of us together so that all of us are satisfied. And as you do so, Your Excellency, there is one issue that really concerns Kenyans that has not been addressed here today. Your Excellency, the security of our people collectively, and especially being assured that any Kenyan can live in any corner of this country, that they can own property anywhere in this country, and equally seek elective positions anywhere in this country. That's the only way we shall bring cohesion in this country. It's the only way that we accept that Kenya is for all of us. Lastly, we already understand our team to Nawajua. We know that the team manager is your friend. We know their team captain, Nibaba. Namuswahiri Usema, Kiboko, Aliye Toa Inshala, Hapasui Mtubwe. And therefore, we can clearly see their strategy. We are able to analyze them. They have been there for a very long time. And I can assure you they are tired in all aspects. We have a very energetic team. And uh, any challenge ahead of us, we shall be able to surmount it. Ligadhe, you have my back. I will support you because I'm supporting this team. The strength of any pack is not a single animal. It is about the teamwork and the strategy. Together, we shall succeed. God bless Kenya. God bless you, Your Excellency. God give you a shagwa viva. Thank you. Let me now ask uh, Governor Salim Mburia, the governor of uh, Kwale. Uh, now, umeombwa kwa heshima useme kwa Kiswahili. Kwa minpoteza skripti yangu basi. Mwishimiwa William Ruto na Ibu Rais na pia Raisi wetu wa Taretisa mwezi wa nane e, viongozi wa tabaka mbalimbali e, na wananchi wa Kenya leo ni siku muhimu ambayo tumekongamana hapa katika muhadhara huu na mheshimiwa naibu rais kwanza tuweze kukushukuru sana kwa sababu jukumu ambalo leo limetuleta hapa ni jukumu ambalo ni moja kwa moja kwako wewe kwa sababu kumteua naibu wako wewe ungeweza kumteua bila kutuhusisha kwa hivyo kwanza nichukue nafasi hii kwa unyenyekevu wako ambavyo umetuwezesha sisi tukashiriki hapa kwa masaa kumi na saba tukijadiliana mambo mbalimbali mbali ya kipaombele 
tukiwa viongozi wa Kenya kwanza tuna nafasi nzuri ya kuonyesha tofauti katika jamhuri ya Kenya katika jamhuri ya Kenya kuna mambo mengi ambayo yanakuwa dhiki kwa watu wetu na tunafahamu uchumi ndio kipaumbele kwa hivyo kwa haya yote ambayo tumeyazungumza na mimi binafsi nimejifunza kwamba uongozi lazima uwe una heshimu na kushirikisha wenzako mimi tunataka kuhakikishia haya mambo yote ambayo yanahusu uchumi wetu ndio mambo ambayo tunastahili kuyajadili kupata mbinu ili yaweze kuwafaidi wa Kenya kwa hivyo nichukue nafasi hii ya pekee niweze kumpongeza mheshimiwa Rigadi, Rigadi Gashagwa kwa sababu Rigadi Gachagwa kuanzia sasa ndiye naibu rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Kwa hivyo mheshimiwa Gachagwa sisi tutakuunga mkono tutafanya campaign tutaingia kila mahali ili Kenya kwanza iweze kupata ushindi. Mheshimiwa naibu rais William Ruto na viongozi wote Tukiangalia kutoka tarehe 15 mwezi wa tatu wakati ambao tulifanya mkutano mkubwa kwanza wa kuhakikisha wewe ndio e, utakuwa mgombea wetu wa urais kuanzia siku hiyo hadi sasa kule upande wa upinzani yale ambayo tuliyazungumza pale tumeaona yakifanyika kwa sababu tumeona uhasama upande ule tumeona mambo mengi na ndio maana yamechangia leo hii tunaye gavana kingi ambaye ameingia Kenya kwanza na mheshimiwa Alfred Mutua kwa sababu kwa kweli mikataba ile haina uwazi na tukasema kwamba azimio ianze kuzimia sasa nafikiri E, yale tuliyoyasema siku ile tumeanza kuyaona kwa kweli yanafanyika jukumu ambalo tuko nalo kama Kenya kwanza ni kuhakikisha katika hii nchi yetu tunaangalia kila kipaumbele ya kila sehemu ndio tukisema kwamba tuna mfumo wa bottom up uwe ni mfumo ambao umejikita mizizi kwa wananchi wetu na mimi sina shaka kwa ile timu ambayo tumeiweka ya kiuchumi sina shaka tutasaidiana nayo ili kuhakikisha tunaweza kutekeleza yale ambayo tumekubaliana uh, mheshimiwa William Ruto mimi sitakuwa kama mheshimiwa Duale kukuuliza utuhakikishie muradi fulani hapa lakini tunataka nikukumbushe kwamba katika mazungumzo yote ya kiuchumi ule uchumi wa samawati katika mkoa wa Pwani si wa kubahatisha sisi tumeuchora na tumekubaliana vizuri tuna ruaza nzuri kuanzia pale Shimoni kuwe na bandari ukifika pale Kilifi kuwe na bandari nyingine ukifika kipini ambayo ni Tanariva kuwe na bandari nyingine and of course tuko na Lamu na Mombasa kwa hivyo hayo kwanza ni mambo ambayo e, tuyatilie maanani kwa sababu wakati tulipokaa kama jumuiya ya kaunti za pwani tulizitambua sehemu hizo kama vitega uchumi muhimu katika mkoa wetu kwa hivyo tuna matumaini kwamba tunapoketi kutekeleza haya ndiyo mambo ambayo ni muhimu kuyaanzia na kuchanganya na mambo ya kilimo biashara ambayo yatakuwa muhimu zaidi na jambo la mwisho e, ni kwamba tumeyasikia yale ya wale ndugu zetu wanaotupinga lakini tunafahamu pia wana uzoefu wa kutuzungumzia kwa hali zote bila umaalumu wowote 
Kwa hivyo sisi tuna imani mheshimiwa William Ruto kwamba mpango wetu wa kiuchumi sio wa kubahatisha. Kila kaunti wataweka sahihi mkataba ya mambo yao muhimu ambayo ni yatekelezwe na serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Kwa hivyo iendapo kutakuwa na udhaifu hatutakuwa tunabahatisha. Udhaifu huu tutakuwa tumeuona mapema kwa hivyo tuna imani wananchi pia wataweza kuwa na ufuatilizi mzuri wale ndugu zetu wengine hawana mipango yoyote mipango mingi inatokea kwa mikutano ya hadhara ukiwauliza baadaye hawawezi kufafanua walioyasema ndio maana hivi sasa wanababaika na mpango wa kufufua bandari ya Mombasa kwa sababu wao wenyewe ndio wahusika wakuu wa kuua uchumi wa pwani na uchumi wa bandari watawezaje ati siku moja wawe ndio watafufua haya ni maswali muhimu ambayo tunajiuliza kwa sababu tunawafahamu wao ndio wametekeleza udhaifu wa uchumi ule kwa hivyo mimi sitakikuwa na marefu zaidi lakini najua maswala ambayo yatakuwa na umuhimu ambayo umeyataja hapo mapema maswala ya kuhakikisha kila mkenya anapata cheti cha shamba kuhakikisha wale waliokodisha ardhi na hawaishi serikali iweze kushughulikia sehemu hizo mimi sina shaka tutaweza kuyatekeleza hayo mwisho tu ni kuhakikishie e, sisi tukiungana na governor mwenzangu Amazon Jeffa Kingi E, tutaibadilisha pwani kisiasa ili kuhakikisha kura zote zimeweza kupigiwa Kenya kwanza. Kwa hivyo na waomba tu wa Kenya wenzetu e, tofauti mnaiona. Kule kwingine tumeona malalamishi watu wakitafutiana kiti hii ya running mate imekuwa wengine wanaweka makataa, wengine wanataka kufanya mgomo, lakini hapa tumeona ustarabu majadiliano yamekuwa ya haki majadiliano yamekuwa ya ukomavu na mwisho sote tumekubaliana kwamba mheshimiwa Rigadhi Gachagwa aweze kuwa na hiyo nafasi ya mgombea mwenza kwa mheshimiwa William Ruto kwa hivyo ni jukumu letu kama wa Kenya kuunga mkono hii Kenya kwanza ili iweze kuunda serikali na lile la mwisho zaidi mheshimiwa naibu rais tuna bandari yetu ya Shimoni ambayo ile mambo yote ya zabuni yamemaliziwa tulitarajia itazinduliwa mwezi wa nne haikuzinduliwa lakini tumegundua wale ambao wanatuzungumzia wiki nzima kusema kwamba ati governor kingi yeye alimpata akinyonya kusema kwamba ati governor Mvuria alimpata hawezi kuzungumza wao ndio ambao wamesababisha kuichelewesha bandari ya Shimoni kwa hivyo tuna tunakushauri na kukuomba hiyo iwe ya kipao mbele iweze kuanzishwa ili tuweze kuhakikisha mambo ya uchumi yanarudi kama kawaida na lingine ni mambo ya mafuta E, Mheshimiwa naibu rais vile mafuta yanavyopanda bei nina kuomba sana Mheshimiwa Ruto uweke kikao rasmi a crisis meeting ya kujadili haya mambo ya mafuta ili kama Kenya kwanza tuwe na sera mbadala suluhu mbadala wa ili swala kwa sababu mafuta yanapoongezeka gharama ya maisha inaongezeka kila upande Mheshimiwa naibu rais Asante sana kwa kutupatia nafasi hii na pia kunipatia nafasi ili kuweza kuwahutubia wa Kenya. Tunakuunga mkono na wa Kenya tunawaomba muunge mkono serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Asante sana Mungu awabariki. Buria Although you have not asked for my commitment but uh, I know everything about the Shimoni port. I know where the problem is. I know who the problem the source of the problem are. And I want to tell you that my first trip 
after 9th of August will be to come and do exactly what you have asked on Shimoni Port. Uh, let me now ask the Iron Lady of Kenya, Kwanza. A great woman, a formidable lady, Alice Mudoni Wahome, to speak. I will gladly adopt that name. <laughs> uh, Your Excellency William Samoy Ruto, Your Excellency Mamarecho Ruto, the newly launched or unveiled running mate, Rigadi Gashagwa, and your wife, the entire team of Kenya Kwanza, its leadership, and our team members that have been pushing on in this particular Hasra Movement uh, team. Your Excellency, I was one of the contenders for the running mate. With my sister Anne Waigoro, I want to say that we were fully engaged in very deep, extensive consultations the whole of yesterday and even there before. And that uh, <clears throat> when we now narrowed down, we did agree that His Excellency now has a running mate to be unveiled today. I want to congratulate you, Your Excellency, and also congratulate the Honorable Rigadi Gachagua for that achievement. Having said that, Your Excellency, this entire team, now Kenya Kwanza, has gone through very serious uh, scrutiny by the Kenya public. Your Excellency, you are leading a team that has also been fully tested and attacked by the head of state, the President of the Republic of Kenya, with an intention of bringing down the team so that he can continue in succeeding himself. Your Excellency, I want to remind you that a few years ago, I said that Uhuru Kenyatta is the single most existential threat to the country democracy and economy of the Republic of Kenya. I dare say, I believe I have been proved right, not a prophet, but I may have foreseen that this will be coming. Your Excellency, I now want to say that I'm a committed member of this team. I believe in teamwork, team spirit, and I'm sure what we have achieved today is another milestone in the journey to State House on 9th of August this year. Your Excellency, you have alluded, I think not alluded, I beg your pardon, I heard you pronounce yourself to the question of gender equity. I will remind you of this date, should you turn out to be like Uhuru Kenyatta, because we have not achieved for the last 10 years the two-third gender principle, and it is obviously achievable because Kenyans wrote it down in the Constitution. So I hope I don't become your most fiercest uh, critique in the government when we form it, because I have no doubt, Your Excellency, that you are committed and you'll be able to have that. Your Excellency, I won't be long. In another two minutes, I'll sit down. But I want to say of two things, which maybe it's only a woman who can say. You have talked about economic model, bottom-up economic model, which actually is, I believe, is your blueprint. It will be maybe first priority on your blueprint. Your Excellency, that means we are expecting as a nation economic reforms that will give Kenyans economic freedom 
so that a woman who goes to bed wakes up the following morning pregnant, sometimes having planned for a baby, maybe gets even two, or having planned for none and gets three, and has to carry that baby for nine months, then go to hospital, and the first thing she's asked is whether she can pay to deliver a baby, which obviously is a national duty, but it becomes her personal responsibility and that of her unemployed husband or father of the child, because sometimes it is father of the child. Your Excellency, that woman and all Kenyans are entitled to accessible, free health care in terms of bringing up that baby, possibly for a period that that baby gets out of the nursery. Your Excellency, I would urge you, most areas of Kenya don't have domestic, clean and domestic water. I'm speaking to real issues for women. It is possible to have drinking domestic water in every home because these are the people we are seeking to lead. If you adopt the electricity connectivity model, which has reached more or less in every primary school, you can be able to reach every home. At least we give domestic water as we plan to provide irrigation water. Finally, Your Excellency, you know that every shilling in Kenyan pocket matters. Kenyans will call us to account for how many people we have made a difference during our five years, and I said I want to repeat, I have no doubt, you will be the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. How many Kenyans we made a difference, how much more money we put in their pocket from where we are with an, an economy that is on its knees. So I believe we shall be using data numbers. Finally, Your Excellency, the question of gender Take it seriously. It is achievable. I know you can. The Azimio were unable, Your Excellency, today to unveil their candidate. They are waiting for your script. We have unveiled our running mate, your running mate, Your Excellency. Let them not tell us that the running mate, because it's a woman, that is sufficient or they are ahead of this team. It's not one position that will make uh, meaning in the question of gender equality. It is the numbers that we are looking for, and therefore your position of 50% cabinet is very welcome, and I congratulate you for taking that position. And finally, Your Excellency, that you have also said that in every government uh, arrangement, appointed positions, Your Excellency, you will stand with the law, within the law, and the Constitution. We will support you on that, and I know Kenyan women will be looking for you seriously after today to vote for you so that then they can achieve what they have tried to achieve the last 10 years. So, Your Excellency, don't falter on that. As Mio Tukonanyini, now bring your candidate to Patane Kwadebe. We will be winning this election. They told us you will not be in the ballot. In the next three, year, three weeks, we will be escorting you to IEBC to Kutane Nawao Kwadebe. I will be there in the journey. Let me very briefly ask uh, my good brother Irungu, the party leader of the Farmers Party of Kenya. Karibu sana. Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, and the Fifth President of the Republic of Kenya, uh, for this opportunity to be here on the very historic uh, occasion. Uh, let me also take this opportunity uh, to singularly congratulate uh, His Excellency, or, uh, the uh, presumptive Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, uh, 
the Rigathi, Honorable Rigathi Gashagwa. Your Excellency, in your speech, there are three things that uh, we captured that really are central uh, to most of the Kenyans and our aspirations. The first one is on issue of agriculture and farmers. Farmers and farming contributes 22% of our GDP and uh, employs 65% of our, our population either directly or indirectly through linkages and the value chain. And our farmers have been suffering. And the last five years we've seen uh, actions towards uh, emancipating the farmers uh, through uh, different uh, agendas. And we do hope that your government uh, will follow through with these current commitments as the farmers already feel a bit more hopeful. Uh, as we all know, uh, Kenya, in Kenya, 50% of the population uh, takes uh, bad food, while the other 50% actually has no food. Uh, and that's why at this point we have about 3 million uh, Kenyans who are facing uh, starvation. And uh, we've seen uh, increasingly uh, Kenya is importing uh, food and food uh, items from our neighbors. At the moment, we've seen the price of maize going from 2,700 uh, shillings per bag to about 4,400 shillings per bag. And we expect it to escalate further as Tanzania looks to close its border on the imports of uh, maize from them. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, please make food security one of your key pillars in the next administration. Secondly is the issue of youth. Uh, and you've spoken very candidly uh, about the youth, uh, their challenges as well as the youth uh, agenda. Uh, Your Excellency, many of our youth are jobless and they are hopeless. Uh, we do hope that uh, your uh, government will really look at the uh, creating job opportunities as well as skilling our young people. You have also spoken about the mentorship of the young people and the young leaders. I can see a lot of young leaders here who really all they need is to be held, their hand to be held, uh, to be taken to the next level. They are ambitious, they are talented, and really they have a really big heart uh, for this country of ours. Please follow through on that commitment to hold their hand. Uh, under the leadership of uh, Samuel Masaki, uh, we have created uh, the Youth for Kenya Kwanzaa uh, for 2022. And, uh, I am, and they have uh, made me the patron, which I'm very happy about. Your Excellency, please uh, hold our hand uh, on this. The youth on that agenda and they are, are, are really, really keen on delivering the youth vote uh, to you come uh, August 9th. And finally, uh, it's on your manifesto on the Hustler Fund, on the 50 billion fund. Uh, Your Excellency, I think this is a very noble uh, agenda and will, be act will help our Mamamboga and the border borders and all the others to be able to achieve, uh, to, to uh, seek a living and uh, be able to raise money uh, through cheap credit. As you do that, kindly also look into the pending bills which have driven a lot of our business people uh, into uh, poverty uh, through auction and all that uh, as they've put their money uh, there and without getting the uh, payment for it. Uh, with that, Your Excellency, uh, once again, thank you very much uh, for nominating Honorable Gashagwa. He's our neighbor from Muranga, and when he's appointed, Muranga people are happy. Asante sana. Uh, you remember I mentioned that um, we will make it our business to mentor young leaders and ensure that they become better than us. Can I ask all the leaders who are, who are below the age of 45, what's the matter? Wow. Thank you very much. These are the young men and women who hold the key to the future of our nation. And I want to repeat to them that uh, the young leaders of our nation will benefit from our mentorship. We will make it possible for them to learn and be better than us.
amongst one of them who was in this uh, running mate race is one good gentleman who has a great future, a resolute, passionate leader of the present and the future. I will now ask that young man, Samson Dindi Nyoro, to come and uh, and uh, he, he dared the difficult. I am sure you will achieve the impossible. Karibu sana. Pia, wewe, nani, Sylvanus, Osoro, kuja hapa. Utaongea dakika moja. And one of the ladies, one of the ladies, says, is it says? Says, come, and Murkomen, come, and this one. Anthony, Anthony Kimani Shungwa, kuja hapa. Thank you I want much. these young people to say something. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. I want to congratulate my senior, Mweshimiwa Regade Gashagua, for your appointment as our running mate in Kenya Kwanza. We have come from very far with Mweshimiwa Regade Gashagua. We are good buddies. And I'm really grateful and happy this afternoon for your appointment to be our deputy captain. Lakini, before I go on Mweshimiwa, Mweshimiwa the fifth president, uh, Kate, Mweshimiwa the fifth president, wakati umesema watu wa bureau 45 wasimame, nataka ufanye audit kidogo kwa sababu. Iko maneno imefanyika. Moses Kuria alisimama nusu. Sasa siju hiyo kusimama nusu ni maana gani, lakini mweshimiwa Moses Kuria uwache rigi ngata ya miaka. Mweshimiwa Deputy President, I want to tell the many people who are watching that this process of coming up with a running mate was one of the most consultative processes that I've ever been engaged in. We were all engaged, and especially the leaders from the Mount Kenya region, and the generality of the leaders of Kenya, and the choice that we have before us today is not purely the choice of His Excellency, the Deputy President. It is the collective choice of the leadership and the population of the people of Mount Kenya region. I also want to congratulate His Excellency the Deputy President because you have shown and especially the region we come from that you keep our word, uh, that you keep your word. There are celebrations all across our region because you had insinuated to our region that your deputy is, is, will be drawn from among one of us. And therefore we congratulate you for keeping your word and especially for involving all of us in that process of coming up with the running meet. As I start here this afternoon, and I thank you very much, Mweshimua Deputy President, even for your recognition, I want to say that I am a very, very proud member and a leader of Kenya Kwanzaa. And I hope the young leaders of Kenya can clearly see that where you have space for youthful and young leaders is in Kenya Kwanzaa that where we have opportunities for hustlers who we are actually nominated for various tickets across the country from MCS to MPs, it is in Kenya Kwanzaa. Kenya Kwanzaa has the highest number of women running for various positions in our country. And therefore, Mr. Deputy President and the Fifth President, thank you for your mentorship and being hands on in shaping our future as a country. Our fifth president and our deputy president, Regadi Gashagwa, God willing, many countries go through their critical junctures. And I think our country, Kenya, is in a very ripe critical juncture. 
That is the Hasra Junction. Many countries from South Korea, like South Korea got its critical juncture from the 1960 when General Park ascended to the presidency of South Korea, pouring that country to a GDP per capita of below Kenya to being a world-class economy now. China, its critical juncture was in 1978 when Mao Zedong departed in 1976 and Deng Xiaoping became the leader of China in 1978. The economic growth that we know today has its basis from 1978. Japan has its critical juncture from, 19, from 1868 in the Meiji Restoration, uh, Mr. President. And all these that I'm enumerating have one thing in common. But for these economies to grow, for these economies to thrive, there was the liberalization of the economy, democratization of enterprise. Mr. Deputy President and our, and our fifth president, there is a contrast between democratizing the economy and the status we have currently of state capture and patronage. And that is why I see a critical juncture in Kenya where enterprise will be respected, the business people, red carpets will be rolled on them other than being sent criminal justice system to punish them. And I clearly see the economy of Kenya coming up and becoming a giant in Africa. Lastly, we can only form government when we have the requisite numbers. And I have, with no doubt, Mr. Deputy President and our fifth president, that Kenya Kwanzaa, when I look back here, I see our captain and our fifth president, William Ruto. I see our prayerful first lady, God willing, Rachel Ruto. I see the bold the firm, the forthright, the intelligent running mate, Regade Gashagwa. And our second lady, God willing, Pastor Dr. Dorcas. When I see other leaders from across the regions of Kenya, from across the many political parties of Kenya, I am with no doubt that Kenya Kwanzaa will emerge victorious by over 70% and above in the 9th of August. But we want to send a very clear plea to our competitors. Kindly come and tell the nation that whatever the outcome on the 9th of August, that you are going to accept the will of the people of Kenya and there will be no maadamano, uh, there will be no throwing of stones, there will be no kungo areri. You will go home respectively and allow the will of the people of Kenya to take its course. Lastly, a month ago, the Public Works of Kenya announced that they want to undertake some renovations in the office of the deputy, in the residence of the deputy president, the current William Ruto, who will be headed to State House. I have good news for them. The money that was allocated for the renovations, please let that money go to help our Hasra nation. I have talked to Mr. Miwa Regade Gashagua. He has been going around, albeit huku inje kidogo, and he has got no problem with the current condition of Karen, the Deputy President's residence of Kenya. Thank you very much. God bless you, Mwesimua Regadi Gashagua. May God bless the Hasra Nation and Kenya Kwanzaa. Mwesimua Regadi Gashagua, tawadhali kuja unisarimia. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, the Deputy President and the incoming President of the Republic of Kenya, Madam Rachel Ruto, uh, our Deputy Nominee, Honorable Rigabi Gashagwa, and your dear wife, all protocols observed. Your Excellency, I want to, give, uh, to say thank you to you for giving us this chance as the people of the mountain to be able to take up the second most important seat in the Republic of Kenya. You gave us your word a few, many, many years ago. We never signed an agreement with you, but you kept your word because you're a man who keeps your word. Your Excellency, thank you also for involving us very, very deeply 
in making this very important decision. We've sat in this place for the last, since Thursday, up until last night, late in the night, and we've had very, very candid conversations with you as we got into the process of picking the best amongst the best. I am happy that in your shortlist, you did pick a woman, Governor Anne Waiguru, which showed that you have confidence in the leadership of women. She was ranking highly. You also picked on Alice Wahome, also a woman who was ranking highly. And we appreciate that you actually had space for the women of this country as you made that decision. We also appreciate, as the people of Mount Kenya, and especially so Mount Kenya East, that you actually identified a son from Mount Kenya East, Professor Kidure Kindiki, a man from the smallest tribe in Mount Kenya, and you believed he too qualified to be the deputy. But we know that this position could only have been taken for one individual, and we are happy that you have picked a great man. The Honorable Rigabi Gashagua has worked very hard for the Hasla Nation. He's worked very hard for the party UDA. He's been the glue that has been holding us together within the mountain. Even when it was risky for us to meet, we met in secrecy, organized and convened by one Rigabi Gashagua. So I have no doubt in my mind that we've picked the best, we picked a man who is committed to issues affecting the mountain. We picked a man who is committed to issues affecting the entire nation. We are in particular keen that our issues as agreed with the Mount Kenya leaders will continue to remain dear to you. We in Embu County support you and your government because we know you have our issues at heart. You're looking at issues of guaranteed minimum reforms, returns for our coffee, for our tea, for our milk. We are looking into you making sure that you provide the necessary subsidies so that we can make more money for the farmer. And we know you're also committed to our crop called the Mira. So, Your Excellency, we are glad to be part of this great team. And may I assure my brother Rigadi Kashagwa of our undivided support as we work towards delivering 100% of Mount Kenya votes. Thank you very much, and I also wish to request the Honorable Bogashagwa to please come forward and greet his sister, Cecily Mbarire. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, your Excellency, the President, I just want to echo the words of the Honorable Musalia Mudavadi. I know, Your Excellency, there are many people, especially those on the other side of the political divide, who, as Musalia Mudavadi said in his words, expected that we will break the port at the entrance. We are more responsible, Your Excellency, than that. And I want to assure you, Your Excellency, as I congratulate my brother, the Honorable Rigadi Gashagua, on his nomination as our Deputy President candidate. The people of Kiambu, the people of the Mount Kenya region, and Kenyans at large, we will rally behind you and our running mates, all of us to the man. And we will do that, Your Excellency, because we believe in you as a people of Mount Kenya. We trust you, and we know you are a man who keeps his word. Your Excellency, we committed to the people of Kenya from the beginning that this Kenya-Kwanza coalition was not about the sharing of positions, but about people-centered issues on issues that affect the people of Kenya. Our running mate in Kenya-Kwanza, Honorable Rigadi Gashagua, has suffered immensely, has been persecuted and even prosecuted by a government that was intent on succeeding itself. And I want to assure you, Excellency, we will rally behind you, behind our running mate, 
and we will consolidate our vote in the Mount Kenya region and all over Kenya to ensure that the, on, on the 9th of August we emerge victorious and form a government that will be people-centered, a government that will revive the economy of our country and rescue our country from the state capture that we have experienced over the last five, five or so years. Your Excellency, with those few remarks, I once again congratulate my brother, Honorable Rigadi Gashagua, and uh, as you said, Your, Honor, Your Excellency, I am 45. I am not below 45. I am only 45. <laughs> and I'm also mentoring other leaders in Kiambu, the Honorable Kawanjiko there, the Honorable Amashukuru, the Honorable Koimbori. I'm also following your footsteps with the Honorable Rigadi Gashagua to mentor other leaders across the country. Thank you and congratulations. <laughs> Let me ask all our members of parliament present here just to stand up so that I can mention their names. Thank you very much. We have uh, John Juguna Kawanjiko, a member of parliament from Kiamba, Bikeli Makofi, is the last born. We have uh, Gedua Mashukuru wa Mashukuru from Kabete. We have John Kiarie from uh, uh, Dagoreti South. We have uh, Mama County. Mama Mashinani, Mama Mokami from Nyeri County. Victor Munyaka, Movango, Movangoni from uh, Machakos Town. Lindy Nyoro, of course. Simon Mbogwa. Sorry, I, I read your SMS. <laughs> <laughs> our member of parliament from uh, East Africa and our nominee for Starehe. Asante sana. Uh, Kingara, our member of parliament from, Ju uh, from uh, Ruiru. Uh, George Sunguya, our member of parliament from Kajado West here. Madam Chematia, member of IALA, but also our nominee for Baringo Women Rep. Um, our lady um, Falhada from Ijara in Garissa. Anap uh, Gure, Women Rep from Garissa. Uh, Robi, Matthias Robi from uh, uh, Korea West, Mr. Rono from uh, Keio South, my good brother Kenua, the senator of uh, the great county of Laikipia, Mama County from Nakuru, uh, Mama Liz Chelule, Wanjiro, Wanjiro Chelule, <laughs> Samuel Gashove, our member of parliament from Nakuru County in Subukia or is it Subukia in Nakuru County, sorry. Caleb Kositan, member of parliament for Soy. Uh, George Koimbori, uh, our second last born from uh, Juja. Uh, Mr. William Cheptumo from Baringo, Baringo uh, North, but now Senator nominee. Shadrach Mose, our member of, uh, of parliament, uh, parliament from Kitutu Masaba in Yamira County. Uh, Colonel Kingangi, our member of parliament from uh, Mbere South, Wanjiko Moihia from Iala, uh, the good uh, Mr. Kanyi, aka Jaguar, member of parliament for Starehe, and uh, a member of my team now going into the future at the presidential campaign, um, our good brother Rakuya, aka Buddha. Alias Bazenga. <laughs> from Mbakasi North, Asante Sana. Mama Mili Sendomanga from Kanairo. Uh, Cecil Mbarira is there from Embu. Uh, Mama Regina Ndabuki from Akueni. Mr. Gashagwa from uh, Ndaragua. Mama Faith Getao from Women Rep of uh, Nyandarwa County, Mama Maria Wamaua from uh, Maragua or Mora uh, in, Mora in Moranga County, my good brother from uh, Keio, no, not Keio, from Maraquet West, East, sorry, Mr. David Kangogo, thank you very much, our nominated young man 
from Nakuru County, uh, Mr. K uh, George Gideon Keter, sorry, uh, the Member of Parliament for this area, Mr. Uh, Generali, aka Nixon Coris, or is it the other way? <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. My good brother from Korea West, East, sorry, I don't know, I'm mixing up. From Korea East, Maisori Kitayama, and uh, my good brother Mwangi uh, Gisho, Gishohi, Member of Parliament for Tetu. So, and then of course, uh, Simba. This girl is called Simba. She is uh, our current uh, women rep of uh, Nyandarwa, like Kipia County, Katarina, Waruguru, Kate. Yeah, Simba. She is a member of now. She is now a member of my good team. Silvana Sosoro is the the good man from South Mugirango, and of course the investor here, Mudungu uh, Aruiro. Please, Karibu Abo Mudungu Aruiro. Okay, and then Kitumba Murkomen will follow. And then we will finish there. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. I really take this opportunity to say thank you for having this opportunity and to thank most sincerely the Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition for this opportunity to unveil our running mate. Your Excellency, you have really proven to be a great Democrat because in this decision, you have actually actively involved us very, very much and it has been very beneficial Indeed, it is a cost of democracy. And they say that democracy is the worst form of government, but it's, there is none that is close to the best, so it is the best as well. Your Excellency, you have rallied the country behind the bottom-up economic model that is a watershed, a new way of thinking that will ensure that we lift so many millions of people from poverty from the bottom-up. Today, you have given us a running rate a great gentleman, a fighter, a liberator. When I see regarding a Shagwa, I see a reincarnation of the Mau Mau spirit. He has rallied the mountain together, and even as I have worked with him as a CEO of Mlima House, I know and believe that over 6 million votes across the, the length and breadth of our region, they are going to vote for William Samway Ruto as the first president of the Republic of Kenya. Your Excellency, I also want to say thank you because in your agenda under the UDA government, you ensured that all persons with disabilities, that when they were vying for various positions, they, they did not pay a single coin. And out of that, over 300 aspirants were able to participate and exercise their democratic right for the first time. You have committed in your statement that you will ensure that persons with disabilities are represented in your government. I know and I believe that Article 54, Sabbatical 2, that calls for 5% of all appointed positions shall be for persons with disabilities. I believe in your government that persons with disabilities shall be represented in cabinet, amongst the PSS, and of course in all other spheres of government. I know this is a commitment, and I want to tell millions of people with disabilities and their families, that the future, their future is secure under William Samoei Arab Ruto. I don't want to have much to say, but I'm part of this team, I'm part of the presidential team, and we shall rally together, and whatever, whatever features, whatever processes, we are now one team. Because leadership almost changes society, and now we are part of the team, and we are one pack. For the strength of the pack is a wolf, and the strength of the wolf is a pack. I thank you. Your Excellency, uh, Deputy President William Ruto, our second Deputy President, the Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, the MP for Madeira, your spouses, members of Parliament, and party leaders present. My name is Ketu Arugoro, Senator Maola Nimutia Kizungu, Mimi Nimama Yamta. Tazungumza kidogo kwa kiswahili 
tumalize hii maneno kwanza ni ruhusu nichukue nafasi ni congratulate regadi gashagwa your brother the late derito gashagwa and your late brother liriani should have been alive to see their youngest brother and how you have done marida and his family very proud allow me to say thank you to his excellency and the people of nyeri and the entire mount kenya region because your excellency deputy president you seriously consulted us and asked us where we feel should be the right place the right person to to give up to you so that you walk with them this journey mheshimiwa rigadi gashagwa is bold ana reverse ya gear ya reverse mheshimiwa rigadi si mtu ya kupotea joto ikikuwa mingi i want to assure to the rest of us in the mount mount kenya that for once we are breaking the limitations which has been stopping our brothers and sisters from taking the mantle away from the pre-assumed pre dynasty's families today the son of marida regadi gashagwa is breaking the glass ceiling that mtoto ya masikini mtoto amelelewa na single mother baada ya kifo ya babake can lead this country i see a plan for the next 10 years that your excellency you will not labor like you did in your 10 years because you have a helper a man who is god fearing a man who loves his people and a man who will fight for the entire kenya and particularly mount kenya sasa your excellency unajua huu regadi iko siku tuliitwa na mzee kule sagana tukaitwa sagana 1 na tukaitwa sagana 2 kwanza sagana 2 nilienda nimebeba karibu mimi naenda maternity sasa hii rafiki yangu regadi pastor dolkas tulipofukuzwa kule juata hatukupatiwa chakula ako na kamaskani kidogo pale karibu na Sagana Street Street Lodge mimi nataka kukuomba tu ruhusa tafadhali regadi gashagwa tunapojiandaa kutafuta kura kwa kona zote za Kenya sasa ututengeneze Sagana Street Lodge haitakuwa mahali ya jamii ya mombi na gikoyo kuongea tutakutana Kenya mzima Sagana Street Lodge tuongee lugha ya kitaifa Kiingereza na tuongee lugha ya Kiswahili lakini sasa this time regadi gashagwa pana sahau mimi tumezaliwa na wewe kule madera tumezurura kule tukibeba kahawa kwa mgongo ndugu yangu ukifika kubuka hii mtoto wenu inaitwa shiko god bless you um your excellency the deputy president honorable regadi gashagwa our nominee for deputy president my colleagues in leadership mine will be very brief i have known honorable rigadi kashagwa particularly for the last five years as i worked with him in parliament and together with him in this team the hasla nation rigadi kashagwa is a tried and tested public servant a general who does not run away from the war a believer in uplifting those that are from down up a god fearing person many people will mistake the silence and the studious face of gashagwa to mean that he may not be as friendly as many people would expect but honorable gashagwa if you spend time with him he's very friendly he has a listening ear is willing to listen to others and is willing to attend to problems of his colleagues and the people of Kenya your excellency the deputy president you have not nominated kashago for yourself you have nominated him for the country you have nominated a person not based on his color religion size beliefs but also you have nominated a person because of his character because of his vision because of his mission and because he believes in building a nation that is united honorable kashagwa contrary to the views of so many people did not earn his place purely because he came from mount kenya part of the country he earned his place because he demonstrated in the four years when it was the most trying moment that in times of adversity in times of challenge in times of storm Rigadi Kashagwa is the man to count on. 
It's a person who can stand his ground. Your Excellency, we have had a very challenging four years for the office of the Deputy President. But it's not only the office of the Deputy President. It's also the Senate. It is also, Your Excellency, institutions of governance, especially of accountability, the office of the DPP, the office of the DCI, the Inspector General of Police. All these institutions have been manipulated, and the people serving there have been coerced, and if they refuse to be coerced, uh, Your Excellency, have been punished for not worshipping an individual. Your Excellency, you do not pick a worshipper. You picked an advisor. You picked a person to help you, not to worship you. We have known you. When you say you are willing to mentor us, we have known you. You've given us a chance to grow in this country through the office of the Deputy President. Your Excellency, I beg, and I believe you have already said you will do it. Bring back the honor that the office of the Deputy President deserves, not just for yourself, but so that the children of Kenya in the future will be proud to occupy the office of the Deputy President. You have attested, Your Excellency, to make the tenure of Rigadi Kashyaku a tenure that will make the rest of Kenyans be proud to aspire to serve and occupy that office of the Deputy President. And I believe that the difference between Kenya Kwanzaa and Kuzimia is this, that you are the presidential candidate who has felt the pain of occupying the office of the Deputy President, and you understand what it needs to be. But the other side, Your Excellency, their patron is the person who has tormented other leaders, including your office. The leader, their presidential candidate, was cheering when the office of the president was being despised. I wonder which Kenyan would want to serve in the office of the deputy president under this man, Raila Odinga. No wonder they even postponed today to announce anybody, because it is difficult to accept to work with somebody who your excellency we know despises the office of the deputy president. And I know that when you've chosen the Gadi Kashakwa, you've chosen him for our country. We are going to work with him. We are going to travel around this country to sell the mission of, a message of bottom-up, and we're going to ensure that your presidency and the government of Kenya under Kenya Kwanzaa is able to redeem the dignity that the people of Kenya deserve. Your Excellency President, president in waiting, congratulations. And Your Excellency the Deputy President in waiting, Mr. Rigadi Kashagwa, congratulations. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, uh, the future president, the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya currently. Of course, it's the next president. And uh, Your Excellency, next deputy president, Rigadi Gashagwa. I think it's very difficult to speak last, especially when your seniors are spoken. Mine will be to give a congratulatory message on behalf of uh, the great people of Nyanza, uh, the Kuria, the Luo Nation, and uh, the Kisi Nation, uh, particularly uh, my Kisi County region, we want to give our congratulatory message to uh, the next Deputy President, Honorable Gadi Gashagwa, a man that we've worked together, a man that we all know his uh, performance, a man that we know his strength and his capabilities. Uh, to the nation, we give you a person that we are sure of. And the two families that are seated here together uh, are families that will steer the country ahead. And as a believer, I want to speak to the church that in the, couple that, the couples that you see here, you are safe. The first family, uh, first lady, uh, is uh, uh, the first lady is uh, a known believer and a person who really is a serious intercessor. And the second family, uh, second lady, is a pastor, a known pastor, Dr. Dorcas. I've worshipped together with her. And as a believer, I want to tell all the believers that you are safe. The small churches are safe. And like all you know about our earlier presidential, the other presidential candidate uh, threat against the small churches, we want to give you our assurance that it, in this Kenya Kwanzaa leadership, with the two couples that you are seeing here, the church is safe. You will not be threatened to be closed down and you will not be threatened against worship. And that is what you've seen today. Uh, you heard when you woke up this morning that 
the other party, the other side is also going to have uh, their nominee nominated today. But upon the nomination of Rigathi Gashagwa, you've seen the whole team has gone again in disarray, in confusion, and they've also postponed their nomination to tomorrow. That clearly shows that we made a right choice and we've got to push the other team to the boardroom again to discuss. We wish uh, Honorable Gadi Gashagwa all the best and we remind him that now you've been given a higher responsibility. Like they say, to whom much is given, much is expected. You now have a bigger home and uh, a bigger responsibility and many kids. Among them, you'll have different heads. We'll knock your head at times. We'll push you left, right, and center. Please bear with us. Be cool, be calm on us, and be accommodating. And uh, above everything, a team player. May God bless you. Thank you very much. Uh, there is, uh, I overlooked, uh, I have been informed by Shadrach Mose from Yamira that uh, there is a name we, um, we, we did not mention in the overall presidential team, the name of uh, Walter Nyambati, who is our governor candidate for Yamira. But let me say how grateful I am. Thank you very much for the patience exhibited by all of you. We want to thank God for this moment that we have uh, unveiled our running mate candidate, uh, the Honorable and maybe his full name is uh, Geoffrey Rigadi Gashagwa. Uh, and to say how happy I am that uh, we will now form a big team to drive the Kenya Kwanzaa uh, agenda forward. And now I will request uh, Pastor Dokas to close this session with a word of prayer. Pastor Dokas. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, and Mama Rachel, protocols observed. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you. We glorify you, we honor you this day. As we rise up, O Jehovah Father, with praises and worship to your holy and mighty name, we ask you this day that Father Kenya becomes under supreme guidance, power, authority of the Most High God. We pray, O Jehovah God, for the future of this great country of Kenya. And all the things that, Father God, we have spoken and we, ha we are planning, strategizing, we place them under the almighty hand that is able to take us to the next dispensation. The future is bright because, Jehovah God, you are the front and the rear guard of this Kenya Kwanzaa. We thank you because we fear you and we know that, Lord, those who fear you, they have wisdom. And those who fear you, you will fight for them. And because you are the mighty man of war, we call you Ebenezer. For this far, you have brought us. This far, you have given us unmerited favor. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We know that, Lord God Almighty, the people of Kenya are important to you. And we pray that there is going to be unity from the north, south, east, and west. Father God, as we walk this journey, we pray that the spirit of the living God, you will unite every one of us from the old to the young, to the youth, the men and the women of this great country. Our Lord and our God, we pray that we will become as one people, speaking one language, people that Father God know and love one another as brothers and sisters. This is our prayer of faith because we know when we call upon your name, you always hear. We pray for the kingdom of God to come upon this earth and revival to break forth so that Lord God Almighty, you may be exalted. Thank you for the programs that I've run today. 
we started with you and we are ending with you and Kenya is rising up as a great and mighty nation. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. statement uh, shortly, but he will be joining regarding Ashagwa and all the other party leaders in our national presidential campaign team. I wish to take this uh, of us to lunch. You know, when you come home, there will always be something to be eaten. So there is lunch for each one of us. Please do not leave. It will be served on the other side at gate C, and you're all welcome. Let us pray for lunch. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we want to thank you for a good day that you've given us. Heavenly Father, we have a meal. We have lunch that we are going to be taking off. Father, we ask you to bless it and sanctify it, for we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.